wonderful day to be with the Lord and to hear the word of God. I really appreciate the fact that, you know, as you come to the presence of God, you'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. That's the reason you are here. That's the reason the Lord has brought you here. And that's the reason we're preaching tonight. You, you see, every time you come and connect with the Lord, you connect with power. And I told you, you know, there are people that uh, they have a little power now, and then it fluctuates. But the power the Lord is bringing to our lives will be steady, will be stable, will be solid, will be spiritual, and will be supernatural. I'm plugging you with that supernatural power of God tonight. And I don't want you to miss your miracle. Say, I will get my miracle. A good amen. Close your eyes as we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight because we are here for you. Lord, we pray that today all people who are here, all people who hear the sound of my voice, wonders will begin in their lives. Lord, I pray tonight will be a night of celebration of wonders in Jesus' name. Glorify yourself today. Bless your people today. In Jesus' name we pray. I'm talking to you on the wonder of coming to Christ. The wonder of coming to Christ. You see, the people I have seen in the Bible... Coming to Christ, as I look at them, as I see what happened to them, I just wonder. And I've never stopped wondering the wonder of coming to Christ. Here comes a leper. And for hundreds of years, do you know, for thousands of years, for centuries, no leper had been cleansed. They will abandon the lepers outside. And they will keep them away from the people because their disease was not only painful, not only shameful, it was contagious. And therefore they didn't want them among the people for hundreds and thousands of years. They will not allow the lepers to come. And then the lepers heard that Jesus was in town. And the wonder of coming to Christ. And he came and he said, Lord Jesus, if you will, you can make me clean. And without any long process at all, he said, I will be clean. And he was clean. He was healed. Then a blind man heard that another person had got it. And he too, he said, he came. He said, Jesus. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And some people shouted him down. They said, don't shout. They said, don't be so excited. They said, don't be so fanatical. They said, don't be so religious. And then he shouted them more. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still. And he said, call him. And then they called him. And Jesus said, what do you want me to do to you? He said, that my eyes may be open." He said, you receive your sight. And immediately those blind eyes opened. The wonder of coming to Christ. And then there was a soldier, a centurion of, of a band. That he had about a hundred soldiers, troops under him. And a servant was sick of palsy and tormented by evil spirits, tormenting spirits. And he heard that Jesus was in town. And into he came. He said, Lord, have mercy on me, that my servant may be healed and delivered. And then Jesus said, I will come to your house. He said, no, I'm not worthy you come to my house. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. And Jesus said, what, a, what faith is this? I've never found so great faith. No, not in Israel. Be it unto you according to your faith. And his servant was healed. 
and delivered immediately the wonder of coming to Christ. And then here come the ruler of the synagogue. That's the leader in an assembly. That's the leader in a church. His daughter was sick. And he came to Christ. He said, Christ, I have a problem. A daughter, I love very much that daughter is now sick. In fact, at the point of death, and while he was still talking to the Lord, to Jesus and the Master, people came and said, don't bother yourself anymore, the child is dead. And then Jesus said, you have come. And because you have come, I am able to raise the child up. Don't you know Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life? And so Jesus followed him, and then he told the people, get aside. The child is not dead. The child is sleeping. And the people laughed him to scorn. And then Jesus went there and said, little girl, young girl, rise up. And life came back into that child. The wonder of coming to Christ. And that's why I show you, as you come to Christ tonight, and you want to experience the wonder-working power of God, then stay where you are. A wonder is coming your way. When we come to Christ, what he gives us, what he imparts into our life, the wonder of salvation, number two, the wonder of supernatural healing, instantaneously, blind eyes open, instantaneously, the lame, they rise up and walk, instantaneously, deaf ears receive sound, instantaneously, dumb tongues, tight tongues, they are loose and they begin to speak, instantaneously, tumors vanish away, instantaneously, cancer dry up the wonder of supernatural healing number three the wonder of supernatural deliverance and dominion that if evil spirits have been chasing you harassing your life oppressing your life destroying your life they will not allow you to sleep in the night they will not allow you to work in the day they are seizing your mind they are arresting your mind they will not allow you to seek normal everywhere you see them you turn you bend in the corner you see them and then you are hearing strange voices in your ears the wonder of supernatural deliverance and dominion tonight you are delivered already the wonder number four of total freedom. Oh, to be free. Free from sin. Free from sickness. And free from satanic attack. Oh, the joy and the wonder and the glory of being free. The wonder of total freedom. Why are you here? I said, why are you here? You are here for total freedom. I said you are here for total freedom. No bondage in your life, no harassment in your life, no fear in your life, and no dominion of Satan in your life. The wonder of total freedom. Number five is the wonder of abundant life. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. And Christ said, I am come. That you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Number six, the wonder of supernatural power. Behold, I give unto you power over all the power of the enemy. And then he says, nothing shall be able to hurt you as you come to Christ. And then Christ brings you face to face with majesty, face to face with dominion, face to face with power and authority, the wonder of supernatural power. Number seven, the wonder of heavenly inheritance, that eventually, after the Lord has forgiven your sin here, eventually, after the Lord has brought you into the kingdom, eventually, because he said, in my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and when I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you and take you unto myself so that where I am, there you may be also. The wonder of heavenly inheritance. You will be there. I said you will be there. I mean, it is a story to you from Mark chapter 2. A story from Mark chapter 2. The wonder of coming to Christ. 
in Mark chapter 2 from verse 1. And again, he entered into Capernaum after some days. And it was noise that he, Christ, was in the house. Wherever Christ is, whether it's in the house, on the field, whether in Jerusalem, or in Capernaum, anywhere Jesus is, it's noise that he, Christ, Christ the Savior, Christ the Redeemer, Christ the Healer, Christ the Deliverer, Christ the Miracle Worker, Christ the Savior and Lord. It was not. Everybody was saying it. Don't you know what is happening? Don't you know who is Satan? Don't you know the event that is taking place now? It was noise abroad everywhere that Christ, this wonder that has come from heaven, has come to our town. And then we're told in verse 2, and straightway, that means immediately, many were gathered together. The wonder of gathering unto Christ, the wonder of coming unto Christ, immediately, when they heard, just like you have heard, just like you have known, that something great is happening here. Am I right? That something good is happening here. Am I right? That wonders, the wonder of wonders, wonders are taking place here. And do you believe that? I said, do you believe? And just at first, they too, they heard. And then as they heard, they started coming. This one coming, that one coming. You know, in those days, many of them came by just walking. Some of them came by donkeys today. We come on motorcycles. We come on bicycles. We come in taxis. We come in buses. We come on foot. And we just walk down there. And that's why you are here tonight. And God is going to do something in your life. And then we're told, as they gather together, it's so much that there was no room to receive them. No, not so much as about the door. It was a great crowd. It was a big crowd, just like we are here tonight. But you know, even though we have a big crowd here, God can see you where you are. The Lord has seen you where you are. And you will not be lost in the crowd. Yes, we know there's a crowd. But the crowd does not stop the Lord from seeing you. He knows your heartache. He knows your desire. He knows what you are searching for. He knows your aspiration. He knows your prayer request. He knows why you left everything behind. And you say tonight, I will be there with the crowd. And it will single you out and it will give you your miracle. And it will single you out and give you your miracle baby. And it will single you out and give you your healing. And it will single you out and give you power and dominion over every evil power on earth. It will single you out and give you your total freedom. And so we are told that they all came. And it was such a crowd, there was no way that they could receive them in, in the house. Then it says, he preached the word unto them. He preached the word unto them. Why did he preach the word unto them? I'll tell you. The word, that's the word of God. It's a connection between any human being and the Almighty God. The Word, the Word, is the connection between you and the Almighty God. In particular, the Word of Christ. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. This was the word that was in the beginning with God. And through him, by him, all things were made. And without him was nothing made except through that word. And in him is the life of all men. And the light of all men. He preached the word unto them in particular. What word did he preach unto them? What kind of word? brings healing? What kind of words 
brings deliverance? What kind of words bring dominion? What kind of words bring total freedom? What kind of words bring abundant life? What kind of words bring supernatural power? What kind of words will lead you to the heavenly inheritance? Uh, you know, there are many people when it says, and he Christ preached the word unto them. They are wondering, what word did he preach to them? I will tell you, I will show you. You know, if I just tell you without showing you, you'll say, but how did you know that is what Jesus preached? So I must show you. Mark chapter 1. In Mark chapter 1, verse 15. And say, the time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye gospel. Repent. The gospel, that's what he preached in chapter 1. What did he preach in chapter 2? Chapter 2, verse 17. When Jesus had it, he says unto them, They that are whole need no, have no need of physician, but they that are sick. I came not to call the righteous. But sinners to repentance. So then you know now. In chapter 1 he said, Repent ye and believe the gospel. In chapter 2 he said, I come not to call the righteous. That's the self-righteous. The, right, the people who say they're righteous, the Pharisee. The Sadducees. The people who say, I was baptized by John the Baptist. The people who say, my father laid the foundation of this synagogue. The people who say, the moment I was 